Hey guys, it's Garrett Stewart with Command Console and I'm so excited to announce to you that the new paid ads experience is here. It's updated uh, and it's entirely new how to do Facebook ads in Command, but in a good way. Uh, they're now so much more easier to put together. I've even tested this over the last uh, week. I ran side-by-side -side ads in an old Facebook ad account and the new Facebook ad account, and I got uh, on average one to two dollars cheaper per lead uh, on these, uh, running them side by side. Uh, and so, super excited to show them to you, uh, and I'll go over some of the exciting new uh, updates of why they're even better, uh, not just because they're easier. Uh, so, let's get started. We're going to go into campaigns to get going. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit create campaign and uh, hit. Uh, the paid ad. Now, before I do that, I did want to point out uh, to manage any ads once you start running them. This is where you'll see them is on once you go from dashboard to paid ads, uh, you'll be able to see uh, the different ones you're running for right on here and just by selecting them. If you're running any previous ads, either they already are done running or they're currently running in the old account, that's fine. They're still going to be down here further down under the legacy paid ads. So just know that those are still running for you. Um, and then you can just click on um, any of these to see the ads that you're running in the new ad account. Uh, but you can go ahead and you can hit quick start or create campaign and hit paid ad and that's going to build you, or send you right to the new paid ad builder from there you're going to see a bunch of new options and so you're going to be picking and choosing your goal of what you're uh, wanting to do so we've got the listing right here uh, and this is a single image or video you have listing for multi-image so if you wanted to do multiple pictures of a house if you have multiple listings you want to advertise maybe um, a few of them that you're um, have uh, a non-listing image so this would um, you know if you wanted to you know list something for example of maybe homes for sale in a specific area but not list a specific home um, that would be perfect for that uh, notice these little uh, buttons down here have the Facebook lead form by default uh, so they'll they will automatically capture the lead for you uh, before taking them to that um, listing info um, and then you have attract sellers attract buyers and a few other different ones on here as well which is really cool um, so notice on here as well uh, you do have Google Ads uh, available so you have um, this is utilizing like a Google AdWords uh, on here so super exciting to be able to market uh, on Google as well um, I've been working on uh, doing that as well and we'll get some more results as that progresses uh, or you could even uh, advertise the listing on all three channels um, but let's just keep it simple and let's just advertise a, um, a listing uh, we'll do a multi-image listing uh, on Facebook and Instagram. Now this may prompt you to connect your Facebook account uh, or you can click over here if it's not connected, make sure it's all connected. You may have to reconnect it with this new uh, setup. Uh, once you do that, you'll be able to click on there and start building it out. Uh, it already knows my Facebook account uh, by default, which is great. Um, you know, you can actually click on that and, you know, if you want to link new pa additional pages, you can do that too. Uh, then you're going to search for your listing. There's a few ways you can search for it. Actually, a lot. <laughs> uh, so you could just search for it if you were the listing agent. You could search for it if there or, you know, normally the safest bet is just do the uh, by address. So we'll just go... Um, by there, Sassafras Trail. Okay, so we'll enter in an address there that's gonna load up in just a second, and we're gonna be able to see the uh, options. Yeah, there's only one, perfect. Now you can see it says it's for sale um, uh, right in there, and you can actually scroll over a little bit more if you wanted to see more uh, additional information, just making sure it's the correct uh, listing there. Uh, so super cool. You can also, I love, if you wanted to just market for your uh, listings for your office, uh, you can actually search by the office, listing office name. Uh, so that's a good way if you, maybe you don't have a listing or something like that, you could even advertise some office listings. 
I will go ahead and hit done there and that's gonna automatically load in all the stuff. And first thing it's gonna do now is gonna do targeting. So uh, just like before we have 15 miles up to 50 uh, and it's just by default going around the listing location. So uh, this is listed in Reno, so it's gonna go around Reno. But here's one of the cool things that you can now do in custom location. You can do multiple. So for example, here in Reno, uh, a lot of home buyers are coming from the California area, so the Bay Area. So maybe we'll put in San Francisco. And before, that's all. You could all, all you could do is just that one city. Now you can actually do things like uh, maybe I do Sacramento. And right there, now we've got two different cities in there. Super cool. Um, so you can advertise in a few different areas um, that you want to market to. Um, then you can scroll down. And if you're like me, you struggle coming up with a headline uh, for this. Well, not anymore. First of all, it has smart stuff where it will automatically fill in some of the things. Um, in here, but maybe you're like, yeah, I don't want to give out the price and things like that. Let's see what a AI has to do. We all know AI has been blowing up. Well, that's what this button is here. And you can actually select that and say, suggest with AI. And it's going to come up with a suggestion for ad copy. And the great thing is um, it's going to have uh, a bunch of different things uh, or suggestions available for you. So, you know, live in Sierra Canyon, the premier Dell Web 55 plus community. Uh, so it highlights some of the exciting things of this. If I hit apply, uh, it's going to do that. And let's see, that's, oh, the, for some reason, I might have to delete that part by text I didn't delete. So, uh, and there we go. We've got that right there. And we could even include emojis or anything right in there. Uh, maybe you wanted to try a different one. You could actually change the style uh, of what the AI is using for this as well. If you want it, you know, more caring, uh, you can actually select that and it'll come up with a more caring um, the experience, the retirement. Perfect. Um, so you kind of have some uh, suggestions right from there. Now for the headline, same thing. You can actually just hit that little button and suggest with AI. And there you go, Dell Web, 55 plus. And it has, it includes the price. Now, in most cases, I don't like to include the price in my, um, in my ads, but uh, it kind of depends. Um, but there you go, you've got a um, suggested ad right there. Now you can also include, of course, emojis, like I said, uh, in the title. And here's the cool thing too, another plus, before we only had 25 characters for the headline and now we have 125. Um, I probably wouldn't go for 125 because double that might get a little long cut off. So I'll probably keep it shorter like this is gonna be the best uh, for your success on here. Um, but again, you can play around with it a little bit and even once it's just stuff, you can still edit. Maybe I don't want the price in there, um, different things like that. Um, I always like to, if you include, marketing this in another uh, city, you may want to include the city in the name so people know where, where this property is at, not just by the neighborhood. Uh, but normally neighborhood area is a great way to market um, in, the, in the headline and people know where it's at. Um, it's gonna default to the first five images on this so you can actually uh, you know, just scroll through and select whichever images you want. Um, so like, uh, and you can actually have a live view of what that looks like right over here, which is really cool. So, if, and you can upload a custom image if maybe uh, there's not one in uh, the MLS that's syncing over or something like that. Um, but yeah, you have the five images for the carousel there. And then you have a the URL, where is this going from there? Well, I always suggest utilizing your agent website um, to market this so we can just go and I uh, have Caroline's website here that I'm um, utilizing today because I um, the new websites are coming out soon so um, just FYI when those new websites roll out you can still even use those as well so either way but I like to market to a website that is advertised to me if it's my listing or my ad right so um, so you can just copy that website address go in here, uh, get rid of the HTTPS, and then paste that right in there. Uh, that's going to lead in. You can preview that URL if you want to make sure it's good. 
and then you have lead settings. So uh, this is going to be where uh, where they're getting tagged. Uh, oh, one thing I forgot to mention on this as well. This is just uh, you can also, if you created a landing page, you could also select the landing page uh, from the drop down as well um, to send them to. So you have a few different options uh, available for there. Um, and one other thing I'm just realizing I didn't mention on the targeting, you no longer have to do targeting by, um, you know, figuring out their interests and things like that. Um, you didn't have to before, but now it just makes it a lot simpler and Facebook we're utilizing the algorithm to figure out who's going to be the best um, buyer or seller um, for you. Uh, so it, you don't have to worry about that as much. Um, and it shortens up the time. So I'm going to tag them and I have a, you know, Facebook. Um, so depending, I have a few different types of Facebook tags I have in there, depending where they go. Um, maybe because I have it in San Francisco, I might use my SF tag so I know that they might be from there. Um, and different things there. So you can create different, add multiple tags uh, on there. Uh, you can create a, a new tag as well. Um, you know, if you start typing and it's not there, you can create a new tag right there. So just so you know um, there. And then of course, most important, have a smart plan ready to go. Uh, I'm not gonna go over uh, the different smart plans uh, available. I do have a few smart plans. If you search my name uh, for Facebook, I have one for just for text, just for email, and just for phone calls. Uh, that's purposeful because if I have the wrong uh, phone number, I can kill that ad um, or kill that smart plan for just the texts and calls, but let the email one still go. So that's why I, I have those separated. Um, but if you wanted to... Um, Feel free to use anyone's smart plans from the library or create your own. Um, also, so if you use my smart plan from the smart plan library, you can search for it by my name and uh, just need to make sure to change the smart links as well. Um, a lot of the emails uh, especially have links in them and it, those are purposeful links because they're linking to my website uh, and I can actually see when they click on my smart plan links in my emails. Uh, so I like having that done. So there's a purpose for providing links in the emails because you can track if people are clicking on those links, right? So uh, make sure you up the, update those links to links that apply to you. Uh, if you will have more questions on that, you can always uh, email me at garrettstewart at kw.com uh, or watch the first part of my last Facebook ad video. I've did review it on there too. But let's go ahead and do that. I, I'll type in Facebook and I have a few different Facebook variations on there. Um, so uh, deciding which one, you know, if this was a luxury, I have a luxury one, but we'll just do uh, Facebook text new. Um, and then uh, I need to clean some of these up. Uh, but we have, you know, Facebook, uh, Facebook calls and, fa and I have Facebook email. So I would just select as many as I want on there um, to do. So you can have multiple smart plans uh, go on there. Uh, once I have all of that all done, I feel good. I proceed to the last step. And uh, now we can do, guess what? Here's another new thing. You can launch it on the same day. Now before, a lot of times if you did put the next day, it could still launch that, that same day. It was just waiting for Facebook to approve it. Uh, but now, you know, you can just put in that same date and include that uh, in your timeline for duration and choose that end date. So super cool there. You've got your budget. You can do, you know, as little as two bucks since we're and we're advertising on two different locations um, and, you know, go up to five hundred dollars if you want. Uh, so very cool there. You can enter in your card information down here um, as well. And uh, that is how you are updating it. Uh, and then, you know, once you publish, purchase it, you're set. It's going to start advertising and marketing it um, on, all over the form. And then a lot of times this is going to uh, come back the same way we did. Um, the leads are going to flow through the same way they did before. So you'll still get notified on your command app. Definitely make sure you have your command app installed, downloaded, and everything there. Uh, and once you're done, you can actually uh, hit programs. By the way, uh, a little nuance um, uh, on here, you can't save as draft anymore. So just know if you are creating this, you can't save as a draft um, on there or, or duplicate. So 
the two little nuances there, just so you're aware. Um, but luckily, uh, in terms of like the duplicate portion, this is super fat, a lot faster to make these than before. So um, duplicating it really isn't saving you that much more time. So um, anyway, so uh, just know that. But anyway, uh, here was some test ones I had done previously. Um, and you can kind of see some of the results there. I'll click on that. And you can see I paid a dollar sixty-five a lead versus I think it was over three dollars uh, per lead on the non-test one I had done. Um, so you'll be able to see these statistics here. Um, you can see the uh, the ad copy here that I had done. Um, so that's just a, a test one of showing what's uh, going on and shows where it was highlighted and things there. So um, you can that's where you'll be able to see those populate uh, when you're in this builder. You can you know. This was a listing program one. Uh, if you're on a team, you can actually do dynamic real estate ads. I didn't talk about that, but that is a function as well. If you're doing attract buyer sellers, you can check out the programs there. Uh, but again, you can always just do it right from uh, the campaigns applet as well. When you click on there uh, from dashboard, go to paid ads and you can just go on in there. So if you are doing listing ads, you're at marketing, a listing, things like that, you're just going to click that and that'll take you just right where we were uh, to see those specific ones. So, um, and then just to build it, you can go to dashboard and start building your next one out. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully you're excited. Comment below if you're excited uh, about this new ad builder uh, and hit that like button. Hope to see you. For, for those, this is right before Mega Camp. If, if you're gonna be at Mega Camp, let me know uh, and, and say hi. And uh, for any other command training support and videos, you've got commandconsole.com. Go to that video tab right there, and you can see all of my videos right there, including this newest one of preparing for Mega Camp. All right, see you later. Bye bye.